I believe that the color amber is going to be really popular this fall season. So I picked up this amber spray paint off of Amazon. I'm gonna link it below along with my Cricut machine. Anything that you see in this video, go check the description box out for. For this project, I picked up a candle from Dollar Tree. I added some craft paper to the top part of my candle so that didn't get spray painted. Then I took the candle outside and I spray painted it lightly with the amber. Because you want the light to come back through, you don't wanna overly spray paint it. I would just do thin coats so you don't overdo it and you get that desired look you want. So I did one coat, flipped it over, did another coat. You can always add more, but kind of go slow with this so you get that look you're going for. I was really impressed with how that turned out, by the way. Then I went into the Cricut design space and I created a rectangle that was the size that I wanted it to be. Now the rectangle is going to cut out. Cricut also does this cool thing where you can use Cricut pens to actually draw or write. So if you're not the best at writing fun, fancy text, the Cricut can do it for you. So I went in and I was kind of just kind of figuring out what I wanted it to say. So the top says leaves on it. And once you put in your text, you have to then go in and change it so it's not going to cut it it's going to draw so I changed the setting to say draw and then it asks you like what pin you're using so mine was like a 0.3 black pin so I just selected my pin I also added some additional text at the bottom as well Then whenever you go to cut it out, you just have to decide what you're gonna cut it on. So I decided I wanted to put it on some craft paper. So I grabbed some Dollar Tree craft paper, put it onto my mat, added it. So the first thing it tells you it's gonna do is draw. So I added the pin to the top and it started by adding the text on there. Then once it's done drawing, it'll tell you to switch to your cutting tool. So you switch to your cutting tool and it's gonna cut out my rectangle. And that's really all there is to it. I love this feature on the Cricut. To attach my craft paper, I just added some Mod Podge that I picked up at Dollar Tree to the back and then just lightly pressed it down. You could totally personalize these to add in your family name. You could give these as gifts. Like, so there's really so many options you could do with these little candles. Let that dry and here's a look at how my candle turned out. Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibic DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.